Yeah, let's discuss the Second Amendment again. And you know, in a way, <laughs> you don't need one. And I'll talk, I'll explain this. It's better you have it, though. But uh, say you didn't have a Second Amendment, say you're not from the United States. You really need that? Nope, not to buy a gun. It's, well, I can call it natural law and that type of stuff, but, you know, be, and you could say in the Bible this and all that type of stuff, but before, you know, Christ was around, I know the Bible was around and everything, but that's really a mute point. If you look at the Roman Republic, and I know our, our Second Amendment actually came from English law, French law, and other laws that were around prior to this, and that's why they added it into the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, but... Before that, before England was around and, uh, you know, in its present form and uh, France, um, the Roman Republic, it was basically every single citizen was a citizen, soldier, farmer, and they had their own weapons. And they were really the backbone of the defense of the nation. And it wasn't really about, you know, oh, this is my constitutional right and all this kind of crap. It wasn't really about that. It was like, you know... I got a gun for me. Me. Okay? You know, that protects me. You know, I ain't talking about nobody else first. Me. So, if you give up your right, you're screwed. And, you know, if somebody sweet talks you and they're saying, oh, yeah, you know, oh, put the gun there and give it up and we'll give you a couple little dollars and fuck that. <laughs> you want to be snowed into that bullshit? Don't do it. And if you're in another country, and you can't get guns. Hey, I'm gonna tell you this. Like, you know, if you have like uh, antique cars and antique motorcycles, for instance, if you got to make a part and it's not available, it's nowhere you can't buy it, and you have to make it, they can make anything there is within like a few ten thousandths of an inch. Guns can be made. It's just a tool. It's actually a lot simpler than car and motorcycle parts that have to be made from scratch. As a matter of fact, the Af uh, in Afghanistan, the Taliban, who used to be supported by the United States when Russia was in a in Afghanistan. Uh, the Taliban, they'll make their own weapons, and they'll make them just like the real, the real McCoy. It looks like they're making it in the old-fashioned way, the blacksmith way, without using any CNC lathes or high-tech machinery. It's like uh, they just make them. But really, it doesn't really have to do with the Second Amendment per se, and upholding your oath and constitution. And you know what? President Blowjob can put all this bullshit out on TV. I watched some of that crap with the children around him and Biden when he's, guy's a liar. <laughs> that thing was just set up all the way. And I saw in the major news media how they're saying, you know, some professor down in Florida is like being insensitive to the children that died. And he should be fired from the college and university because of this and this conspiracy theories being insensitive and stuff. Hell, it ain't no theory. But you know what? That still has nothing to do with me. You know, if if all those children really were killed and they went just down just like that, don't have nothing to do with me. Hey, what the hell does that have to do with me? Nothing. Nothing. I don't need I don't need any kind of anybody's permission to do shit. Period. So I know what they are, and you know, I'm gonna tell you this too. Gun owners, gun owners, a lot of you guys are stupid. <laughs> Big time. It's almost like, first off, they had that thing with the cop on TV. That was another one, or whatever the hell it was, on North Carolina. I don't buy that bit. You know, that roly-poly shit, what is he going to do, sit on somebody? You know, I don't know. I mean, I think all this stuff is a bunch of bullshit talk for the Internet. But in reality, say, for instance, there's like, you know, I'll use the word Gestapo, and I know people in the German history realize, you know, the history's kind of gray, you know. It's not exactly like everything was all cut and dry. I know the deal. I read a lot about that stuff, too. I read a lot. But, say, for instance, we'll use it like the Gestapo is after us, quote-unquote, right? You know where they are. They don't really know who the hell we are, exactly. You know, but, but by me putting this on KGB tube, I'm taking my neck out here, you know? But, hey, you don't. You know where they are. So, counterattack, damn it. Sneak. You know, I mean, shit. And you know, I gotta mention something also about you know a lot of these guys are talk. I know, you know, I mentioned one of Lieberman, Feinstein, and you got you got uh, Chuck Schumer out there and, and uh, Bloomberg. And, yeah, yeah, I know. There's a lot of I don't want to. I'm not against. Actually, I like a lot of Jews better than Christians. Christians drive me nuts sometimes, but um, 
there are elitist Jews that are like for gun control, but these guys are dumb. You know, they think they're going to be protected because they pay somebody. Oh, bullshit. The guys, you know how that'll work out. And maybe it'll work out for Chuck Schumer, but the next guy comes in here, maybe it'll work out for him. You know what I mean? And uh, it's like they think they're going to pay somebody and they're going to be safe. You know, somebody's going to get the idea, why the hell should I work for this guy? You know, I'll take the whole thing. Why should I take a check? I'll take the whole thing. You know, just get rid of that guy. That's what happened a lot of times in a lot of power struggles throughout the world. It's better to just have everybody have the weapons. But the thing is, it's not like you're trying to make a utopian society with, you know, this and that. Hey, that's that's really like your basic right. You know, you don't, if you, there was no Second Amendment, it's still your basic right. If you live in a country, there's no Second Amendment. Hey, say you're in the so Russia, you know, called Soviet Union. And, you know... I think, I'm going to tell you this, if you're Russian, you watch this, I don't think Vladimir Putin's the good guy you think he is. I think he's a bad guy, to tell you the truth. I think he's a crook. But anyway, uh, if you're an average Russian, if you get yourself a full auto AK-47 and 5,000 rounds of ammunition and half a dozen or so magazines, go for it. It's your right. It's your right. And you need that to protect your country, too. But first, you protect yourself. You protect yourself. That's why you have a gun. It ain't just to protect your family or whatever thing like that. Or it's your duty to protect. It's to protect yourself. So, bullshit on the rules. You understand? Bullshit on the rules. And bullshit on running to the hills. You know where all they, those jerks are. You know what I mean? If they're the bad guys, I mean, they don't stand a chance anyway. So, I mean, I don't know what the hell the deal is. You know, if it's going to come down, they're going to use drones on you. Well, the drone's going to land, you know? Give the drone a flat tire or some shit. You know what I mean. Come on. You know? Anyway. <laughs> you know, I think a lot of people are watching too many movies. And uh, there's a lot of bullshit out there. But really, don't. the other thing is, deception is the other thing. Deception is usually how they nail you. And, you know, authorities will come up to you and talk to you real sweet sometimes. Don't trust those fuckers. Why? Now, me putting this out on KGB tube, that's not a very smart thing to do, but I've been known for sticking my neck out, and I've done it a lot of times in the military, you know? Yeah, I always used to be around in the military when Bill Clinton was president. I, I didn't mind that guy too much, but I always put on my motorcycle, like his, uh, it was his campaign uh, slogan, Clinton for change, and I had to see it was like a hammer and sickle, you know, because like, he, he got uh, campaign contributions for like missile technology to Russia and China. Great guy, man. Actually, I don't mind that guy. But I don't even mind Obama too much. But they're doing stupid things because basically they're just, they're they're like e-channel people, you know? Popularity shit. They're just, they're playing a game to keep their job as president and stay out of hot water with the guys that are really pulling the strings. So, you know, it's like I don't really hate them. But I don't know, Obama's a bunch of bullshit too, man. God, he's, he's actually really bullshit. I take old Slick Willie over there over Obama any day, man. Tell you the truth. And uh I don't know, this bunch this and Romney, I don't know. They're all bullshit. That's why I voted third party. But the sick thing is most people in the United States voted for either Romney or Obama. Well like ninety nine percent of them did, of people that even bothered to vote. So that's screwed up too. So Americans are like ninety percent of the fault too. Like, if Obama goes away, we still got a lot of dumb people out there to vote for the A team or the red team or the blue team, and they don't give a shit. They don't think outside the box, and they won't be independent. So that really lies into the problem right there. But hey, you know, you don't really need a Second Amendment for your right to own a gun, because that's about defending you. You know? What can I tell you, right? And it's nobody's business, too. Now, I'm playing risky on KGB, too, but just telling you guys... You know, don't worry about this principle and uphold your oath shit. Fuck that bastard, you know what I mean? The hell with him.